But we spent most of our time at the beach. We'd walk down to the beach. We used to go a lot by the boat walk. When I used to go swimming at the so-called ink well, they had a pier that went out. That's how I learned to swim, because I got pushed off the pier. And at that time, they had the pay beach, and the blacks couldn't go there. Oh, no. And they had all the little stalls where they could change their clothes, and they put a fence that separated Pay Beach from the Inkwell. It wasn't called the Inkwell then. We used to call it Town Beach. So we didn't care because we dove under the fence just to bug them, and we'd go and swim. We just did it to irritate them because that beach was lousy. They had no sand, and the fact that they had all these changing bins, I call them, it cast a shadow, so the beach was not nice. And so we had the better beach. They always said that State Beach was all Edgartown Beach, so therefore you couldn't go. Later on in the 40s, somebody found out legally that wasn't true, and that's when blacks started going. The only blacks that went there early on were the maids from Edgartown. We didn't associate with them anyway, so we didn't care. They wouldn't come to our beach. They were snooty. Can you imagine that? Yeah, we didn't speak the same language, so. They'd sit there all dressed, fully dressed. They didn't go in the water with their little straw hats on, just as prissy and prim. And here come the hoydens coming <laughs> down. We came on our bicycles. So never the twain mixed. Never, never did. And I read with this guy. He wrote this article in the Vineyard Magazine I, that he claims that he named the Inkwell, Inkwell Beach. I said, not hardly, because if he had, there would have been an uproar. A white person naming our beach the Inkwell Beach? Do you think for a minute that that would have been tolerated? I don't think so. It's done by a whole little bunch of us. And we did it as a joke because we knew what they were saying, the whites were saying about the beach because that's where we went. You know, so we said, oh, well, here comes the Inkwell Beach. So it became an inside joke. And then the old time is a shock to see it on T-shirts and stuff. When I first saw it, my mouth dropped open. I said, hmm. But now, you know, the younger bunch, they don't care. So we don't care. 